What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Uh, shout out to my good sis voice. This is her video. So we're about to get into it. Yeah, let's get it. So at least Beyonce Dre is being called out by a girl named Ice that she was messing. Computer, don't play with me. So we're on and off for several years. According to Ice, she said she really wanted to be with Dre and that's why she stayed in the picture for so many years. But throughout those years, even though they weren't in a relationship, they were still doing relationship stuff even when Dre was in a relationship with someone else. But now that Ice is in a committed relationship, she wants Dre to leave her alone for good. According to her, she said that she's still DMing her, liking all her pictures, following her on social media. And Ice is upset that Dre is not respecting her relationship with Lee. You... Mm -mm. I want to know what y'all think about that in the comments. Um, let me listen. You invite me and my mom out to, you know, one of your shows to come see you dance. I also just see, right, like, see a great artist perform. Like, of course, I'm looking at it like, because, you know, I'm the favorite ex. Like, so at the time, it's like, damn, I'm doing all of this because, like, at some point, I want us to get back. But really, it's not because it's like you don't want to add no more bodies. It's just you want a familiar body. You want somebody that at the end of the day, you know, genuinely had nothing but love for you. Like anytime they in the city, bro, they hit you up, bro. You like, yo, like, yeah, I'm a slide for her. Yeah, I'm a, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm a goddamn, you feel me? I'm going to be there when she called type shit. You feel me? So this person has called you a countless number of times just wanting to do shit you know, with you at the time, like pick you up after they already put you down, but pick you up when they feel like it. So, you know, y'all, y'all had this agreement though. Like no matter what she told other people, no matter if she told me, oh, like, um, this rapper that I've been dealing with can't eat. You know what I'm saying? She can't beat. You know what I'm saying? She don't do it right type shit. And then I come, I remind you of the right way. You feel me? So. Okay. This rapper can't eat, can't beat. So this might have been a person before Lee. Uh, so basically, <laughs> this is um, I think Ice, mm -hmm. Ice something. She is an ex of Lee's. Um, now, now fiance. Unless mm -hmm. they got married, I don't know. But she is an ex of her, and basically, she been saying that the girl, um, or the lady, been commenting on her stuff and liking her pictures and watching her story and shit like that. Um, I'm not going to lie. I don't think it's that deep. I don't know if her and Lee have had a conversation on like, if somebody like, don't look at your exes. We haven't had that conversation. Um, or like, I don't know. I, I think it's, I think she just don't like the fact that, like, I don't want to say she sound <laughs> like it's almost like it didn't work. So what do you get from a hundred thousand? We already reacted to it, but you know, you got to think about it. <laughs> think well, on it. Think about it. She, she's still saying like she, you know, she's the favorite ex. So she's already figuring if you're inviting me to these such things. And if she's speaking on, her and Lee being together at that time, then baby, you was in the wrong for going and showing up if you feel this way as far as her not reaching out to you. So, I mean, you kind of made that okay. So for her to be liking the pictures and being in your DM, it's kind of like you made that okay. Because if I asked you to come to my show, you could have just said, nah, I'm in a relationship and so are you. We both need to be respectful. And I feel like that can lead to other things. Hence is why she's still calling herself the favorite ex. Mm. You know, so... Um, you think she's still kind of holding on a little I, bit? I think, I I think I Ice is trying to go ahead and just let that go. It, it's dead. You know what I'm saying? But she feels as if the other chick is trying to keep it there but she could just be trying to keep it as a friendship just like you said we ain't had that conversation i don't give a fuck if you liking pictures and 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 dms like don't nobody give a fuck about that unless you're being disrespectful to our relationship then that is where i need to give a fuck but if she's just checking on you saying hey how you doing or just liking your picture because it's fucking instagram come on now all i can is love the picture it ain't like i can goddamn <laughs> you know right. what i'm saying i'm loving your picture it ain't like i can like it like on facebook right so. <laughs> 
You know, so if it was a like, she'd say she switched she, it from a love to a like. Yeah, she liking my post. Y- instead. You know, y'all, what I'm I think that this it's shit petty. is. I think it's petty as hell. I think that um. Like, if I don't want you to see me or I don't want to see you, instantly, you're blocked. Sample. Like, I'm blocking your ass. I don't have to tell Lee that I'm blocking you, though. I don't have to tell Lee, hey, yo, like, um, you need to uh, get your girl. I'm not bringing attention to it. Lee ain't going to respond. Let's be very clear. She probably going to watch it. Mm-hmm. But she ain't going to respond. Um, So... Shonda, she's, what she wants out of this, she ain't getting it. Shonda, she um she invited her to a show to see her. But this was a while ago. This was a ago. while ago. So she's bringing up a lot of things that happened a minute ago. Right. So we don't know if the girl was with Lee at this time when she invited, the, invited her to the right. show. I don't so know. I'm just saying if she did. She then, couldn't have then. She couldn't have invited her because at that time. She said she went. She no, not only did she go, she said that she went because she didn't want no new bodies, basically, and she ended up smashing because she that's the body that she's familiar with. And she said that the rapper that she was fucking with at the time, as in Drea, the rapper she was fucking with at the time wasn't smashing her right. So she said that, of course, I came down there and basically Got it together. I'm the favorite ex. So she was talking about another. I mean, she was talking about uh, Drea, but Drea was messing with somebody else at that time. <gasps> so why would she bring it up now? That's the million dollar question. If you see this, answer me that. I want to know if if it ain't like that now, or just because she watching your story. Why would that make you want to? Well, snitch she, per she's se. Mentioning it because. <laughs> You know, you gotta make the, you gotta do the series of events what led to what it is now. It's like if she would have left out, hey, I went to her show and we smashed, you would have been like, well, did y'all have sex or something? Like, you know what I'm saying? So she let you know, like, hey, we smashed. What happened? You know what I'm saying? This is what happened. So we can't look too much into that. We have to figure out what the hell, what is it now? Like, did she come to you now? And this time to say something for you to be like, okay, fuck it. I'm about to just go ahead and just air out everything because you're doing too much. It, it's given she did too much for this girl to get on the internet and just. But even in doing too much, I'm going to just block you. Well, yeah. I mean. But everybody um, want a coin. So, I, I mean. <laughs> and I mean, if you did it for the coin, I completely understand you know then. But, it don't all, you know, it don't always work like that. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let her finish. You doing all this. Relationship been dead, by the way. But y'all still keep rekindling. Y'all still keep being on each other's line. Y'all still keep doing shit to each other. You feel me? So in the mix of that, it's like, damn, like, I just really feel stretched out. Like, I really feel like, you know, just brought along, like, strained along type shit. So, okay, Bing, you doing that? And it's like, all right, bruh. Like, I don't want to do that no more. Like, I know my worth now. When Deja got engaged, shortly after, she was in my DMs asking me, like, why I unfollow her? And she about to return the favor. Okay. With with which girl? She said Deja. No. Which, was it Lee or was it the ex before that, that she started, uh, she followed you or unfollowed or text, whatever the fuck she did. Was that with Lee or was that with the other woman? Well, this is... It ain't Drea Lee's. Yes. Okay, so this is a whole. She said somebody else. It was a whole nother girl. She, she said when you were yeah, engaged, she, and it's like she's been engaged twice. Right, bro. Like I don't want to do that no more. Like I know my worth now. When oh, Deja shit. got engaged, shortly after she was in my DMs. I- so which time? Which fiance? Because it could be Lee or the other woman. She said that she got engaged to So Deja to was en- engaged to Lee too? Deja is engaged to Lee right now. You said her name was Drea. That's why I just Hold asked on. you. I said, it, is her is, name is, Drea or... That's okay. What... Her name, I believe, is Drea. That's with Lee now. Yes. So that's not who she's speaking about. It would be a whole nother girl. Because she said Deja, but that don't make Deja sense. Deja is another chick. She never a... said that Deja got engaged. She just did. She said when Deja got engaged, she got in my DMs. So, okay, Bing, you doing that? And it's like, all right, bruh. Like, I don't want to do that no more. Like, I know my worth now. So, damn, like, 
I just really feel so oh, a couple man. months later yeah. it took about in my DMs asking me like why I think this my ex. I deleted the DM after leaving it on scene. I'm followed a year ago by that point. I unfollow her and she about to return the favor. It took her about two weeks to unfollow me. Couple minutes, like about a couple months later. Yeah, about a couple months later, bro. Yeah, you right, because that ain't, that's not uh, Drea. Yeah, Dre and Deja confused the shit out of me. Yeah. That shit was too close together. Mm -mm. Okay, so. Two different chicks. Also, she's not talking about Dre right here either. So, I don't. She mm. came and followed me again, but she never stopped. That's Dre. <laughs> um, then why would she say Deja? Deja. Is Deja Dre? When Deja got engaged. Shortly after, she was in my DMs asking me, like, why I unfollow her? And she about to return the favor. It took her about two weeks to unfollow me. Couple minutes, like, about a couple months later. Yeah, about a couple months later, bro. She came and followed me again. Drea. But she never stopped following me. This is Drea. Mm hmm So maybe she's just not saying the names. I don't know. Because right she, When now, she I'm... said Deja and she said Drea. Yeah, but I'm saying as she switched saying oh now, yeah maybe you know she's yeah. she not saying the names but girl now i'm confused. really confused uh this is a lot on yeah, tiktok she's been following me on tiktok for almost about a year and a half almost two years or so i thought it was gonna be like a you know like here and there type of thing but no every post they go up she in that month <laughs> in this home as far as like Ryan, shut Everything up. else is concerned. I hope I, I cleared it up for y'all. I hope, you know, y'all kind of understand where I'm coming from. And if you don't, it's all good too. You know, I don't need anybody to agree with me. I don't need no sympathy. You got to set boundaries for yourself. You got to mm -hmm. have some kind of respect for yourself. Because if you don't, people going to do shit like this. CJ So Cool recently announced that the twins are starting school during his week only, which Royalty is not happy about at all. Starting school, what school are they going to, what's the number, what's the address, what is all this information? So I'm asking him for this information, he's not giving it to me, all he did was give me a name. CJ released text messages with Royalty. Royalty said, what is the name of That's the daycare you, you are sending my kids to? He told What is the name of the daycare you are sending my kids to? It's not a daycare. Oh, and it's called blah blah blah. That's all you need. Immunization, nothing to worry about. It costs twenty five hundred a month for my two weeks a month. Five thousand for the whole month. You paying five thousand dollars for that school? I already told them about our ongoing case and that they would only be going to school every other week. Looks like he did everything he needed to do yeah. as a father. Told her to daycare. Well, aside from exposing her number with his dumb ass. Okay. He said, I already filled out the shop immunization form and they will be in all classes together, no separation. Nothing to worry about. It costs $2,500 for two weeks, $5,000 for the whole month. I already told them about our ongoing case that they would only be going to school every other week. This is CJ proof to show that he did tell her about the school, which in turn, she sent him this article. Now, a lot of people... So, baby, before you even... You might re write... You might change your mind on that because he didn't put her down as the emergency contact. Okay, how far is she from the school? It don't matter. She can't get them if she wanted to. It don't matter. Yes, she can. She's a fucking mother. She already tried. <laughs> We, what the let's hell? just keep watching. We're sending me this article saying that this was the same school that the kids go to, which CJ So Cool responded. He said, Not the school they go to, shaking my head. So apparently, um, this is a lady who was touching on one of the, the little girls at the school, y'all. This shit is wicked. Uh, but anyway, Royalty found this out. Yeah. Hey, Royalty said, let something happen to my kids because your lazy ass want to send them to school because you don't know how to control or tame them. Did all of that fighting just to send them off to strangers shaking my head? What the hell are you talking about? The whole time that CJ has had the kids, I've been blocked. We've got into a heated argument i have not seen or spoken to my kids for the amount of time that they have been over there at cj's house so of course i'm, I'm a little worried about my kids i just want to want to check up on them to make sure that they're okay so that's what i did this morning guys i got up since i know from the internet that they will be in school from three from eight to three i know yeah this morning i go up to the school i go in there and i proceed to ask them 
Um, I would like to know if my kids is here, if they're okay, like, can I see them, blah, blah, blah. So, mind you, this little place. Y'all already know the name because this idiot already posted it for a lot of you guys to see where my kids go to school at on a daily basis. I'm not even comfortable with that right now. That's already a red flag right there. So you guys, stupid. I'm coming into this place and I already feel a lot of animosity because I feel like he already told these people who I was that y'all will, will be expecting a visit from me. And yeah, these people were not very friendly. Let me just put it that way. Let's just start with that too. So the three ladies that was at the desk this morning, there was very, rude. not only that, when you first walk into this place, it what smells you, what like- What in the hell do you look like that right now? Why is she moving like that? Urine, let me tell you that right now. It smells like urine and it smells like a little bit of a fragrance that you're, they're trying to hide the smell of urine when you walk through the front door, so. Let's, that's number, that's strike number two. Strike number three is, these people tell me that I cannot see my kids, I cannot talk to them, I cannot touch them because I am not even on the emergency contact list. For anybody wondering why I didn't put her on the emergency contact I wouldn't have put her on the emergency contact list at all. For one, she's the mother. She would have been down as the mother. That's what I'm saying. Like, why wasn't she <laughs> down as the mother? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I'm, now that's how you word some shit. <laughs> for real. She's the mother. I'm not emergency. The fuck? <laughs> emergency is your grandmother, your aunt, your cousin that lived down the street. I'm the mother. So I don't need to be emergency. I need to be fucking there. Hello? Okay. What is wrong with these folks? So no, don't put me in emergency. Put me as a mother so I can walk my ass up in there and they ain't got to look at me. We ain't got to discuss shit. Right. Because if I'm an emergency contact, that means I got to come to the front to let you know I'm one of the emergency contacts, i.e. cousin, sister, grandma, or whoever. No, I'm the mother. I can walk my ass up in here. Here goes my ID. Goodbye. Take it if you need to. I'm about to go see my kids. Right. <laughs> nah, facts. Catch that shit when I walk out. Okay, emergency contact list. Um, hopefully today you got your answer. If she was on the list, she would have kidnapped my kids on my week. I just want this all to stop. I'm doing my best to be a follow -up. contact list. Hopefully today you got your answer. If she was on the list, she would have kidnapped my kids on my week. I just want all of this to stop. I'm doing my best to be a father to my kids, but all the negativity is making it super uncomfortable. What I did, I told my lawyer. Y'all ain't doing but stressing and... each other the fuck out. That's what you're doing. Why would she want them on your week? Baby, I need time. Well, no. Keep so that's the problem. She went on his week. I understand why oh, she okay. went on his week. I'm the mother. You put them in a school that you didn't let everybody in their motherfucking mama know where my kids at. So I'm going to go check. And then I see online that this woman over here abusing other kids. And you have the nerve to send my Cordea. Okay. CJ. <laughs> CJ. To this damn daycare and have the nerve to not have me on the application at all. Fuck emergency. I'm okay. trying to censor your work. Oh, child. <laughs> don't. I'm a mama bear. Don't do that. Okay. So I get it. She had advised me to do a couple of things. So I did do those things. And basically, I just wanted to make sure my kids was okay. My intentions was not to take them out of school. I may not agree with CJ with what he's doing, but I feel like at least you can put a little bit more effort since you're saying you're spending so much money. I feel like you could put a little bit more effort into putting them into a better environment to know that they're actually safe and not even really exposed to where they're really going. If you really cared about their Ooh, safety and hell their- no. She is stressed, honey. I can almost see your shoulder bone. Stressed out. Learning abilities happens. and oh, I get it. <laughs> whatever the case, you whatever excuses you have, because as far as I know, she should have had a shit more situated in the beginning. She was egging him on to the point where he was like, you know what? I'm gonna have to take her ass to court. I wouldn't have let him take me to court. I would have took him to court. But what I kept saying was, CJ, in order for you to see them kids, he gonna have to take him to court. Whoever went first would have beat the other one to the punch. Period. But all this internet shit they doing ain't making it no better. I would have gave that motherfucker a cease and desist, and I would have uh, got that. 
I would have put his ass on child support first. Yeah. All the stuff that they know now is because of me and it's not from no score, it's not from no babysitter, and it's not from me handing them off to the next to do my job. I did that all on my own. So for you to brag about putting them into this low budget babysitting place. You tell me if this is a regular daycare. This fool. <laughs> this ain't no daycare. Show the damn school. <laughs> this is definitely not a daycare. This is a school of learning. You see that? Preschool for a reason. You see that? Yeah. 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 Am I the am I the only one that realizes that this is the best opportunity for my kids? This is literally the best. Yo, Instagram, stop zooming in on shit, man. For the kids. I hate that new zoom effect on here. It's crazy. You like your school? <laughs> this way, guys. School's over. You ate your lunch, got your backpacks. You like yeah, school? Yeah, wrong for putting them in school. But, nigga, you gonna have to let the mom come to the school. I mean, period. That's not up for debate. Or her ass gonna go to jail <laughs> trying to get to them children. I mean, they gotta be mutual. Because what the hell? They have no mutual nothing. Them niggas, they are they nuisances They have to right because now. this is, this is it's not about them. They making it about them. It's no, not. And he, right. But also, you know what? Another problem is she ain't even saying like that's a good deed that they are in school and that they're learning. She ain't focusing on that. She just don't want them in a strange place basically and then when you have a review like that i completely understand we you, all let me touch had on to the enter mic. a strange place right so that's what i mean so my thing as as mother to mother she gonna have to calm this down you know what i'm saying because at some point they're gonna have to go to elementary and that's gonna be a strange place for them now granted they could be in a private school but guess what it's still a strange place for them so as a father i feel like what he did is a great deed because he's trying to get them out there to actually be more involved with people like them and even to interact with more kids and see more adults other than their mom their dad and their grandma and they let me, learn let me tell stuff. you let me tell you the issue that he's having she is hitting him up disturbing his peace <laughs> right by even stating this on his week in general period but the problem is he blocked her so she's not able to contact them so that means she won't be able to hear from her child for, for a whole week i understand that you know so i get that this I, is how messy it gets yeah it's just a bunch of petty petty betties right now it is and as a mother she should go ahead and put a phone up in a book bag right so but the, the problem so is the other parent has one. to check it the, i mean the other parent has to answer the phone for these little babies right now they he ain't got to get on the phone but he got to answer it so he ain't gonna do that because the kids don't know how to answer she yet teach they, them everything else she can I teach completely them how agree with to that as well <laughs> pick up a phone and hit the number one or the number two for mommy or for daddy that's period if you want to talk to mommy hit one if you want to talk to daddy, hit two. 911 is three. Okay. Okay. 911 is three. Oh, I mean, how many times you got to do this? And they will grasp that and say, I want to talk to mommy, pick up their phone and hit one. Mommy. Right. <laughs> period. Because that's all they're going to learn while they're in daycare. How to call you. And it's not just going to be one number. It's going to be all 10 of those numbers. So they're going to have to learn that. And, and besides you teaching them, I mean, wouldn't you want a break? That's all I'm saying. That's hell. That's break? what he's saying. <laughs> but he got to answer the phone when she want to talk to him for a second. <laughs> but she got to stop uh, calling him the drums. Like I said, my yes, intention is not to take the kids out of school. I was just doing a little wellness check because I have not spoken or seen my kids in four days. So I still didn't even get to see them at the end of the day because... He said, oh my God, this woman is going to get my twins kicked out of school on the second day. If anybody out there consider themselves friends of Charlene, please tell her to stop harassing the twins in their school. Look at Charlene and her mom trying to kidnap my kids from school during my week. Uh, Thank God prayers work. Charlene called the police to my kids. Why he got to say kidnap? Because that's what he feels like. This is my week. So understand him as a father. This is my week. If we done went through all this, this would be vice versa. 
So if this was her or him, it don't matter. If he came on her week, she would feel the same. Don't come on my week. Leave me alone. Don't call me. Don't text me. None of that. So he's asking the same. Don't call me. Don't text me. None of that. You know they good. Yeah. You ain't got to speak to them in four days. It's good. Right. Like, I get it, mama. I do. I get it because of all the history. I get it. But sometimes you're going to have to, oh, at some point, you're going to have to let this father be a father and do what he's what he has to do for these kids so he can show you that he can handle these kids. Because in the beginning, it wasn't, wasn't a father nothing. thing. He, he wasn't, wasn't doing, doing a damn thing. She was doing it. So kudos to you putting them in school. Hello? Kudos Thank you for doing you. something I ain't got to do. But like, exactly. like you say, put me on the list, though. I, 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 ain't no list. Ain't no I'm list. I'm the mama. The, the, they need to know I'm the mama. Period. Uh, she called the and police leave that man my, alone. My Let him have his school. kids. And once they arrived, they told Charlene her mom and brother they would they could never come back to the school again. Oh, child. All this just to try and stop me from co-parenting my kids. I took her to court for this very reason, and she's still trying to control my life. Cool. Once they arrived, they told Charlene, her mom and brother, they could never come back to the school again. All this to try to stop me from co-parenting my kids. I took her to court for this very reason, and she's still trying to control my life. But instead, you make a whole video and a clip and post it on the internet. So now I have to come up here and debunk what lie you didn't told the internet that I was up there trying to kidnap my kids and da 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 da, da. You told the internet that you blocked me. Yes, I'm blocked. I haven't spoke to my kids or saw my kids in four days. So what, I'm wrong for being an, a compassionate mother wanting to check on my kids? Uh, I'm wrong for wanting to make sure my kids was okay because I haven't physically seen or talked to them? So I'm wrong for that? No. No, no I, she ain't wrong. I just... No. Like I said, guys, I'm not gonna go through this. About it, friend. I'm definitely not gonna go Definitely wrong for how she going about That's it. this, but I got some things in the works right now. Also, stop telling what you got in the works. Stop talking. <laughs> Just do it. Yeah, you always give them a warning. I love to give a nigga a warning. That. I get it. I get it. They baby. Look, he's so happy with his kid. He do. What's happy, happy, happy for real? That thumbnail was so cute. <laughs> Look at this. Yo, that's a happy dad right there. And them happy kids. <laughs> like, that's you... all I'm saying. Yeah, man. Oh, I man. get it. They got so much history and, and of mess. That's the problem. And he do. He talk too much. But it's just. She do, too. She do. She do. But he go to the internet first all the time. Girl. So y'all saying y'all ain't never seen royalty run to this dog on internet and tell no business for CJ to come out and say nothing. I ain't saying she did. Okay, but so, I'm saying he does it predominantly. I feel like he was the first one to start it. It might have been, but who gonna be bigger? Who got time to be bigger? Okay, well if you trying to be all this, then be the bigger person, my nigga. Hell, y'all doing too much. Who gonna be grown? Fuck. Okay, forget bigger. Who gonna be grown? Not one of them. I'm dead right now. <laughs> We've been waiting on it. it ain't happened yet. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. This is ridiculous. <sighs> Granted, they are young. Granted, you want to talk to They're your kids. They're not young. Day. Oh, the babies. The Ooh, babies. I'm sorry, Jeff. Granted, you know, <laughs> and you want to talk to them every day. But my nigga, for real. So oh, y'all let us know. Video every day. Right. Y'all Y'all let us know what y'all think down in the comment section below, man. Um, Yeah. You got anything? Ciao, bye. Bye.